Okay, this tutorial is intended to illustrate one of the uses of Molprobity. First of all, let's get ourselves some crystallographic structures. I have chosen the GSTPI due to the av availability of structures at different resolutions. These structures are at high, intermediate and low resolution. You can easily reach Molprobity web page via Google, or you can uh, search it by any other means. But the important thing once you are in the Molprobity page is that you don't need to download any structure from the Protein Data Bank since Molprobity can access it directly. We just need to type the PDB code of our structure of interest and voila! Let's start using the structure with the lowest resolution. At this screen, we can review the structured data and then proceed to add protons. This step is particularly important for side chains such as histidine, asparagine and glutamine. At this point, we can download the results, however, we won't do that in this tutorial. Once protonation is completed, we will continue to the all atom analysis. The length of this analysis is directly related to the size of your structure. Let's check the results. At first glance, you can notice the colors. Red is the worst score, yellow is for the bad scores, and green is for the good scores. As expect expected, this low resolution structure is of low quality. Pay particular attention to the score values called percentiles, as they are the most useful when comparing several structures. Remember that 100th is the best, while 0 is the worst. Let's analyze the intermediate resolution structure. Offhand, we are expecting it to be a little bit better than the low resolution one. We select the PDB ID and type it in the Mall Poverty web page. We will follow the same steps as before for the low resolution structure, that is, the loading, the protonation step and the full atom analysis. Although I started this analysis anew, notice that previous results are not lost. Thank you. 
In opposition to our expectations, these structures appear to be worse than the low resolution one. It has more clashes between its atom and also has more rotamerate layers. Ok, maybe the higher resolution structure will be of better quality. Let's recover it, its PDBID and process it via mold, uh, mold probing. We will repeat the process as we did for the previous structure, except that in this case, due to the high resolution of this structure, we will skip the protonation step. This is due to the quality of the structure that has already its experimental protons. So far, this is one of the best structures, it is almost perfect. The percentiles are the highest and if you are planning to do some computational procedure using a TPI structure, a particularly a GIS TPI structure, I'll certainly pick this one based on its quality. Well, this has been interesting. I hope you find this little tutorial useful for anything you want to do. Thank you and bye.